of bloggingbrandy.com and in this video I figured we would talk about how blog and brandy came to be because I get this topic or I guess question a lot with people is they're worried about how to start and what other people will think about them and what other people might say and I mean you're gonna have haters no matter what level you are you can have a hundred people following you or you can have a hundred thousand or you can have a million people following you and you just need to remember that that many more people are also going to unfollow you and unsubscribe from you the bigger that you get and it's just part of the business people's likes change people accidentally sign up sometimes people do it on purpose sometimes it's your competition so don't take it as a negative thing if somebody really has something negative to say about you then that should just let you know that that's something wrong with them anyways everyone is responsible for themselves and you know you can't judge everyone else so just keep that in mind and don't let other people's comments deter you because you know the truth and you you know you need to start just telling like your truth and so when I started my blog, I had started out talking about girls and like girly topics and then I think I started talking about um, what in my businesses at the time was selling on Amazon and eBay. So I started talking about selling on those platforms and then it just kind of evolved and someone actually kept hating on me. And they kept saying, oh, blog and brandy, blog and brandy, because I said that, it, you know, I wanted to start my blog. And finally, I just kind of looked up the SEO on it, and I figured out that it would actually work and that no one was using it and that the name was available. So I, after doing my research, I purchased the name and I just started using it with social media. I knew all the handles were available. So I used all those handles the same. So my content and, or excuse me, my handle is the same. So people can find me on all the platforms. It's the same at Blog and Brandy, um, which is really important, you know, when you're trying to brand your business is that you're really uniform across the different platforms and your colors and your branding and your name. So people know who you are. But either way, I took you know a hater or someone that maybe just didn't get it at the time I took those negative comments and them laughing at me and I turned it into my name which is where I am now so don't think that what people say about you can be a bad thing I mean I took those lemons and turned them into lemonade because it ended up being an amazing SEO uh, opportunity for me and the domain was available because I kept thinking like what am I gonna you know make my name and whatnot it's a pretty cool story about how my name came to be which is blog and brandy um, if you have any haters just remember they are going on their own they, like, they probably had a bad day and remember you never know what they're going through people always take stuff out on you because of what they're going through and also because they don't know you know they don't know when people fear the unknown they always have that guard and and whatnot up so you can't blame them but either way um, I thought that was just a really unique story for you so that you don't get down and you know I tell this to people a lot but I never kind of put it out there on video but I figured it'd be worth sharing so don't get your hopes up and don't get your feelings hurt if somebody says something that you feel hurts your feelings because sometimes people take things a certain way and maybe they took something you said a certain way and vice versa like with the world becoming real text friendly people are real quick to just kind of shoot things off and they don't realize what they sound like in a text and also remember that people are behind a screen so they're totally about just saying whatever they want when they're behind a screen they're not going to think about do you think they'd come to your face and say it no probably not and a lot of times people will hate on you especially if you're getting ready to kind of like start your business because one it can be out of love because they love you and they care about you and it's kind of like they don't really know that they're doing it in the wrong way and then 
The other way is because people are jealous and they just don't want you to start. So you can't let them deter you once you, you kind of get started. Just start, you're gonna kind of like get your feet wet and you honestly are gonna have to fail before you learn. So you're gonna start, you're gonna have steps and you're gonna learn from those and just keep going. And like I said, you know, my name came from somebody making fun of me and it turned into a great opportunity for me and it's what's became my business and my brand. So turn those lemons into lemonade.